On August 21st, a total solar eclipse will sweep the continental United States. Such a spectacle hasn't happened in almost a century. That afternoon, millions will be cast in temporary twilight as the moon slowly crosses between the Earth and the sun and blacks out the star. Only the sun's corona, the bright wispy tendrils at the outer edge, will remain visible. Here are four things you may not know about the big dark day. Never ever look at a partial eclipse with your naked eye. Instead, you should use eclipse glasses with solar filters. These filters block out 100,000 times more light than ordinary sunglasses and should make our star look as bright as a full moon. It's actually okay to look at a total solar eclipse with your naked eye, but only when the sun is completely obscured by the moon. That will only happen along the path of totality, the 70 mile wide, 3,000 mile long swath directly below the shadow of the moon. Each spot along the path will only experience totality for about two minutes. The rest of the time, and for the rest of the country, the phenomenon will only be a partial eclipse. Unsure about which glasses to buy? Look for ones with this manufacturing number on the packaging. Also, don't use glasses that are more than three years old, scratched, or wrinkled. Before the total solar eclipse of 1932, ecologists put out ads in New England newspapers asking citizens to mail in any strange accounts of animal behavior. Bring the bug spray because they reported mosquitoes emerging as temperatures dropped. Bees became disoriented and raced back to their hives, and crickets fell for the dimness too and began chirping. Daytime birds flocked to their nests during the totality, while roosters cock a doodle dude as the sun returned. Other eclipses caused squirrels to become restless, running three times as much and being twice as active. Earth is the only place in the solar system where a moon can perfectly mask the sun. By coincidence, the sun happens to be 400 times larger than the moon, but also 400 times farther from the Earth. That makes the two appear exactly the same size in the sky. Any further, and the moon would resemble a black dot crossing the sun. Any closer, and the eclipse would be a complete blackout, leaving no sign of the corona. The same physics that cause ocean tides are also causing the moon's orbit to gradually become larger and larger. Thanks a lot, tidal friction. 600 million years from now, the moon will be too far away to fully block out the sun. So given enough time, an Earth will no longer see total solar eclipses. That's right. All the more reason to enjoy them while you can. I'm Julia Griffin. And I'm Seacon Akban for the PBS NewsHour.